Watching fireworks! Yeah! Uh, Wendy, what's Bob making? He's building a time capsule. Wow! <laughs> Does that mean we can travel back in time? <laughs> no, Dizzy. It's a sort of box that you can keep things in. Everyone in town is giving Mr Ellis something to put inside. Why? He's going to bury it outside the museum. Then in 100 years' time, people can dig it up and find out about the way we lived. A hundred years' time? Oh, that's forever! <laughs> yes, it is a long time, Dizzy. Mr Ellis is going to bury it this afternoon, and we're all invited. Hello, Farmer Pickles. Ah, hello, Spud. Get down, Scruffy. I want you to deliver these eggs to the school. OK, Farmer Pickles. And make sure you're careful. I don't want them broken. Oh, dear. Uh, Spud's on the job, Farmer Pickles. No, Scruffy. It's not a game. I'm working. Ta-da! Look, everyone, it's finished. Oh, well done, Bob. Oh, thanks, everyone. Right, Muck, let's get this over to the museum. And, Scoop, we'll need you to help us clear away the rubble. Can we clear it? Yes, we can! Oh, <laughs> shoo! Go away! Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> it's not funny. I was being really careful, too. There you are, Mr Ellis. One time capsule. Well, Bob, it looks very impressive. Thank you. Mm, it's built to last forever. Look what I've been given. Today's newspaper, some special stamps from Mavis at the post office, a school cab from Mrs Percival... Morning, all. I've, uh, I've brought my uh, little contribution to the time capsule. It's, it's a model of the town hall. I made it myself, you know, from, from matchsticks. Wow! It must have taken ages. Yes, Bob. Twenty-eight and a half hours, to be precise. Right. We'd better get on with our work. See you later. Bye! In case you were worrying, uh, I think you'll find it's completely to scale. Ah, is that the time capsule? It certainly is. Have you brought something to put inside it? I have, Bob. <laughs> it was very hard choosing, but I reckon a Wellington boot is the best thing for a farmer to put in. What a great idea, Farmer Pickles. In it goes. Hello, everyone. Oh, Hi, Mr. Dixon. Dixon. Look, I brought a photo of the town to go in the time capsule. I took it last week from a hot air balloon. Wow! An aerial photo. Oh, look, Bob. You can see the yard really clearly. Oh, yes. Oh, we must show Mr Ellis. I've, uh, I've got to get back to my deliveries, but uh, good luck with the time capsule, eh? See you later. <laughs> now, you wait there, Scruffy. Good boy. <laughs> Hello, Spud. Hi, Mrs Percival. I've brought your eggs. Oh, dearie me. They're a bit cracked. Sorry, Mrs Percival. I've been walking for ages and I've been chased by a dog and dive-bombed by a crow and... Oh, poor old Spud. It's a good job Cook's making omelettes today. Phew! That's all right, then. See you, Mrs Percival. <laughs> Bye, Spud. Woohoo! Hi, Scruffy. <laughs> you can't chase me now, can you? Oh, what's this? Oh, wow, a pirate treasure chest. <laughs> Long John Spud's found treasure. What's that, Scruffy? Do you want to be a pirate too? <laughs> Sorry, shipmate Scruffy. It's finders keepers. <laughs> Shush, Scruffy, or I'll make you walk the plank. <laughs> Give 
us a lift, Travis. All right then, Spud. Hop in. <laughs> It's full of old rubbish. Where's the treasure, eh? Uh, Wendy? Where's the time capsule? Well, it was... It, oh, it was right here. Where's it gone? Oh, I don't know, Bob. Oh, we better go and tell Mr Ellis. <laughs> Oh, no. It's a disaster. It can't have gone far. Scruffy, how did you get off your lead? What are you doing with my welly? That's the welly I put in the time capsule. Scruffy, do you know where the time capsule is? I think he wants us to follow him. All right, Scruffy. Find the time capsule. Time to bury you, my little treasure chest. <laughs> no, Scruffy, get off. Spud, what have you got there? Uh, my treasure chest, Farmer Pickles. Oh, Spud, that's not a treasure chest. It's Mr Ellis's time capsule. But I found it. It was just <laughs> full of rubbish. That rubbish was all the special things people had donated. Spud... You can't just help yourself to things that don't belong to you. I'm sorry, Farmer Pickles. Sorry, Mr Ellis. And you're very lucky that Scruffy the detective found you before you buried it. Thanks, Scruffy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Mayor sends his apologies, but he has been unavoidably detained. So he's asked me to say a few words on his behalf. Now, I'd like to thank everyone who has worked so hard on this time capsule, especially Mr Ellis, whose idea it was. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, thank you, Mr Bentley. Uh, and without further ado, I'd like to ask Bob and the team to bury the capsule. Right, Lofty, lower away. <laughs> There, not to be open for one hundred years. It's all right, Scruffy. It's meant to be buried this time. <laughs> Can I have everyone's attention, please? I'd, I'd like to make a special presentation myself. Uh, this is for Scruffy, for being a great detective and finding the missing time capsule. <laughs> 